hey guys, wanted to go ahead and just do an emergency kit here and to go from there. This is basically a kit where if something goes wrong, that's going to be in my car that I can take out of my car that will help me come home. Hopefully I can, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but uh, let me just quickly weigh it. Yeah, so it's uh, 8.4, 8.2 pounds. So um, yeah, so let's just go right into it and go from there. So um, so on the left, in Reach Garp Mini 2. So I like this because this basically makes it so that um, I'll pretty much almost never get lost. Second thing here is this is just a headlamp, but this headlamp actually takes standard batteries. Um, I don't want to take anything that takes proprietary batteries, but headlamp so that you can have your hands free. I noticed a lot of videos actually of these guys, they would actually do that. Um, the other thing too is on the inside, let's just go ahead and open it up here. So this is just the um, uh, Victorinox Walker. What I like about this is that basically this is a one ounce saw. What also is here, this is the uh, Leatherman Curl. I usually don't like to carry this around, but uh, in this case, it makes sense for something like this. Um, here is just flashlights that take AAA batteries. Um, here is, this one takes proprietary batteries, but it's quite powerful. I actually uh, like this a lot. I actually use this when the power went out. Uh, very powerful, uh, but this takes standard, uh, this is proprietary batteries. This is the Quiet Carry Waypoint. And uh, what I like about this knife is that it, it was quite sharp and it's quite sturdy, but also it basically is, it never stains. And even if you put water on it, it just, it's just, it's a really great outdoorsy knife, so to say. Um, also in here, this is a whistle. This right here is for charging. So this is a six way, six port battery. I mean, a six port charger. Um, these are just gloves. All right. So when I open this up, so this is a emergency sleeping bag. This is a emergency two person survival kit. I mean, tent. This is a um, this is a nano towel. Now, what I notice is people would actually have uh, bandanas. Bandana. Uh, this, to me, is a very important part of my get-home bag. But I feel like this is actually better because this is actually a towel that you can actually use um, for yourself or your body. But at the same time, it does everything that the bandana does, sort of. These are garbage contractor bags. Um, you can do that. I recommend having a couple of them because you can use it as a, a waterproof drop cloth on the ground. So you can plastic bag to make an emergency shelter. Boots. It can help keep your feet dry. To go ahead and place this over your backpack. It's gonna bag, sit on the ground to keep you dry. Do is to collect water. So be used as an improvised shelter to. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over three these a couple pouches in here. Um, so they cover different things. So. Um, so this is a uh, small medical kit. Um, now I actually have a much more thorough medical kit in the car, but this is just if I need it on the go. Now, I actually think in this case, I would bring an entire big roll of duct tape because in this case, I actually think duct tape is actually extremely important. So I wouldn't get these small ones. I would actually get the big ones. Um, so in this little pouch here that was inside the backpack, when I open this up, uh, this has, this is paracord. This is a Sawyer Mini. Uh, but a Sawyer Mini actually works with platypus. Um, so I didn't know that. So that's huge because um, I actually used to think it was only working with smart water bottles, but they actually will work with platypus. I mean, so in this case, so in this case here, you can actually see where the Sawyer Mini is right here or the Sawyer. So here's a platypus um, and you can basically, it'll actually connect and you can actually squeeze water out of here and connect it to this and it'll make dirty water into clean water through the Sawyer filter, which is like huge because um, these platypus things are like ma pretty massive. So that's kind of a game changer. I didn't know about that. Um, here are zip ties. Here is a uh, knife sharpener. What I like about this knife sharpener is that it has, um, this is more for newbies who don't know how to sharpen a knife. And then this is more for people who know how to sharpen a knife. Uh, but um, I like this because this is very, very lightweight. This is the M1 Caper. Uh, this is a small fixed blade. This is the Silky Pocket Boy. This is a Vic Lighters. Um, so here, this is more like the tech pouch. So when I open this up here, so this is a AM FM radio that's very compact um, and it takes AAA batteries. I like this because of two reasons. It's very lightweight because I noticed that uh, people would have these crank radios that were this big, more AAAs here. Um, and then um, this is the Nightcore NB10,000. These are five ounces and they offer 10,000. So 20,000 for 10 ounces. 
um, which is actually lighter than anything out there in terms of light, uh, in terms of weight to performance. Um, these are just a standard charger. This is basically a monocular. Uh, it allows you to see pretty, I, like I noticed that I could actually see pretty damn far with these. Um, they don't see super far, like not as far as like, you know, like, uh, like a real binocular, um, but the size difference is massive. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the pile where I hope I never have to reach into this pile, but this is more like, you know, whatever's. So this is, um, this is a pot, a 750 milliliter pot. Quickly, like fast food, and I'll talk about how to do that or what I do about that later on. So here are, here's uh, some matches. Here is, this candle I believe lasts for about nine hours each. This is just uh, scissors. I love these scissors. These are really good. This is more Bix. Like I said, I don't carry ferroseum rods. I think these are actually in many ways superior. Um, and they're easier to use. I feel like ferroseum rods, like people are just like, it's a coolness factor, but like, um, you're not gonna, I, I get that it's infinite, but at the same time, I feel like you are not gonna run out of anything in a matter of 72 hours. And most of those kits are 72 hours. Um, and then uh, this is a mini stove that you would attach to a propane can. Um, I am undecided on this because, uh, but I just carry it just in case, it, just in case like there's a gas station and it's available. It just takes up no space and um, it doesn't take up much space, which is why I, I, I brought it. And then this is a, um, a Zilcock key. Um, the other thing too is, uh, so, oh yeah, these are Mylar blankets as well. So um, I do bring a change of clothes, but these are not in this bag, but um, just when I need to. And ironically, actually, this is actually used a lot. Toiletries, you know, like um, in general. The other thing too is uh, I like to bring flat food. So beef jerky is really good, is uh, protein bars. I swear by these protein bars. These are Pro Max protein bars, double fudge brownie. I think this is the best tasting protein bar out there, period. Like these are better than Quest bars, like way better. Um, nobody knows about these, but these are super good. Uh, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> and then a bunch of cliff bars. And in my car, I have a lot of water. So like, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's basically it. In a nutshell, 